Well, Clarinda is Brooke Brown and Avery Walter, the number two doubles champions here today. Uh, ladies, you're a conference champion. Just, you know, what does that mean? What are the thoughts on today? We're happy with how it turned out. We were hoping to play and win this year because we won last year, too, for number two doubles. Um, just happy we won twice in a year, or two years in a row. Yeah, two years in a row. Yeah, so, you know, winning it last year, like you mentioned, uh, how much of a motivation was that coming in this year? It's like, hey, you know, we're the defending champs. Last year was fun. We want to do it again. Was that kind of the thought coming in? Yeah, that was our main goal, was to do it again and hopefully win as a team, too. Mm -hmm. Many of them went out as a team, but it was good to win two years in a row as well. Uh, take us to your guys' finals match, taking on Mari and Lily of St. Albert. Uh, what was it you guys did well that allowed you to get the win? We won 8-0. I think the main thing that we did good on was placing the ball. Yes, and our serves got way better in that game. Talk about the, the chemistry that you guys have. I mean, when you've played together as much as you have, I'm sure it's got to be there. You know, What is that like? I think that it's really important to be friends outside of the outside of playing tennis too, to play good on the court together, so you have a, some sort of bond. How, how do you feel your guys' styles complement each other? I mean, what, what's kind of your guys' style? I think that we're similar in the right ways and different in the right ways. Yeah, we're very alike. <laughs> And sometimes, you know, that, that's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. It's worked for you guys this year. Uh, and, and you move on now to, to the postseason looking ahead. What, what are kind of the thoughts and the expectations? We're hoping to make it to state individually as doubles and team state. Yeah. It would be nice to go as a team, mm -hmm. see how far we, we made get. it last year. Yeah, I and mean, this is a team that's had a lot of success this year. Um, to, to be a part of that, what's that been like? I think that it's really great that our team is as deep it is, as it is. Because we have six great players, and you can't win anything if you only have, like, two or three. Well, another Hawkeye 10 doubles championship for Taylor Cole and Mason Hartley of Clorinda. Uh, ladies, that's three in a row. Not a lot of people can say, I don't know if anybody actually can say they did that, but you guys have. Uh, just what are the thoughts on that? Uh, super proud of how we played today. That was our goal from the beginning of the season, and basically since we were sophomores to do this all three years. And I'm really proud of how we played, and we've got a lot more to come. Yeah, it kind of sucks that we couldn't have a freshman year to pr maybe make it a four-peat. So, but being out here today with Taylor really means a lot. I think all day you guys lost like two games. Uh, so obviously things were clicking. W what was it from your guys' perspective that you guys were able to do well? We just wanted to come out as hard as we could, and our communication was really on today. And only losing two games is pretty, pretty good for us. I didn't want to leave anything out there. I think this being our last season, a lot more pressure was on us, and we just wanted to play and leave nothing on the court. And I think that was our goal, to be patient as well. Think back to last year, you guys took on Merced and Tessa, and I mean, kind of struggled early, but not the case today. Take us through that finals match. What were you guys doing that led to success? They are really good athletes, and we just wanted to play our game. Uh, we knew that they were going to compete like they always have against us, and we just wanted to be patient and do what we know what to do. Yeah, what Taylor said, they're really great tennis players and athletes all around, and I mean, we, we've played them so many times in the last two years, and to come out today and play our best game really was amazing. Getting into a big stretch now. Uh, how, how are you guys feeling as we get ready for it? Yep, about a week. We have districts, and we just want to be patient, use all of our shots, and, you know, see where we can go. Uh, just play how we know how to play. Um, not do, get too confident. We just want to go in and play our game, I guess. Does it feel different knowing, like, okay, I mean, this is it. This is senior year. This is what we worked for. I'm trying not to think like that, honestly. I'm trying to just play with no regrets and leave everything we can out on the court. Absolutely. I don't want to think it's my last year, last season, not trying to think that way. <laughs> Laney Olson and Mallory Kelgard lead Lewis Central to a Hawkeye 10 conference title today with wins at one and two singles. Uh, ladies, a uh, heck of a day for the program and you guys individually. Just tell me, what's going through the mind right now? Um, super excited. Um... I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I'm glad I finally did. I don't know about you, but... Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, it was a hard day. It was a lot, but... Lainey, uh, of course, you know, at number one singles, you're going to get everybody's best shot. Uh, take us through your day. What, what did you do well? Um, well, first I played uh, a girl from Creston that I just played because we had a tournament last weekend. Um, I was confident going in that. Um, so I knew I could get through that. I believe I did that 8-0. And then my next person was 
from Harlan, I also played her, but that was more beginning of the season, so both of us weren't uh, doing the best as we could then, but uh, we both really brought our best efforts, and I was able to pull it off 8-1, so I'm happy with that. And then for the final, I had to play uh, Landry from St. Albert's, which I figured so. Um, in the start, it was kind of going rough for me, but I held my own. I was patient, um, took pace off the ball, and I ended up doing that 8-3. Obviously, it's not the first time you guys have seen each other. Um, that matchup, when you know the opponent like you do, what are the challenges in that? Um, challenges, I really would just say nerves. Um, I got really nervous, but I know her game. She's, she knows mine, so... It's really just, it comes down to who can make the best shots and who can keep the ball in the longest. Mallory, your finals match, you were down like 7-4, and then I look up and it's going to tie break, and then I look up again and you, and you won in tie break. Uh, I mean, how did that happen from your perspective? What clicked? Um, well, I don't know. I just, the whole time I was fighting, I got down three matches, and then I kept winning one, losing one when we were switching. And I wanted to win really bad, so I just didn't give up. And um, I was, yeah, I, w <laughs> I had my teammates <laughs> there too. And I was tired, but um, I kept going. I think I wore the other girl out a little bit. Did you kind of feel like when, when you got to tie break that maybe if there is such thing as momentum in tennis that it, it was on your side and that you were probably in the, in the favorable spot there? Yeah, definitely. What did you do well in tie break, you feel like? Um, I think I kept it in mostly, and I tried to keep a positive attitude even when I was down. We're like, what, like a week away from postseason now, something like that. I don't remember the exact date. Uh, but, you know, where, where's the confidence for you guys heading into that? Um, pretty good. I don't know. We're, we're a pretty good team. I mean, we all work really hard, so I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, I think our stats show that we can take it all away. I mean, the only person we've lost to this year is Clarenda, and that was a really close match. And I think if we had another go at it, which I believe we will, um, I think we can pull through that. Um, but, yeah, I'm really happy with where we're at. All right, Coach. Uh, wow, every point mattered. Uh, but, but you guys are conference champions. Just to, What are the initial thoughts? Just a wonderful finish by a great group of ladies. They all performed today and to their best of their abilities. I couldn't be prouder of all six of them. Uh, they executed, they had discipline, came down to two tiebreakers that they fought through and won. As a coach, I mean, these are the types of days you want, right? With your girls maybe kind of battling a little bit, but finding a way to come out on top. Talk about maybe what that kind of says about the team that you have. Well, they've, we got four seniors on this team that are leading this group of girls. And we, as you see with, uh, uh, Mallory Kilgard, our junior who came back from a 4-7 deficit, that they just don't give up. These girls do not give up, and uh, it shows uh, in the final results. Impressive day for Laney. Uh, what can you say about what she was able to do? Great player, great discipline, great patience. Couldn't have been more patient all day long. Uh, she, just, she just executed the game plan to keep the ball in play and push, push the game to the limits of the other player. There's some really good teams, some really good players in this conference. For you guys to come out on top, you know, what, what does that mean? You know, Clarenda is a, is a great team, and uh, St. Albert showed great heart today. Uh, to be able to come out on top of those two teams is just a wonderful finish, and we're just very proud of these girls. Couldn't be more proud. What does this do uh, for maybe kind of the confidence and the morale heading into the postseason? We're looking to go in a week's time to individual regionals, and we hope to carry this uh, momentum into the regional matches. And so we're going to see Red Oak again. We're going to see Clarenda again. Uh, and, and a lot of these teams that were here today we're going to see again. But, uh, yeah, we have a lot of confidence going into next week, and we'll, we'll carry that through the practices over the next couple of days.